I love the holiday season as much as anyone else. I love seeing friends and family. I like watching Christmas movies. And I love giving people gifts. But shopping for videographers, filmmakers, content creators is difficult. Or just really expensive. If your friends and family keep asking what they should get you, or maybe you're shopping for a creative and you want to find quality items that don't cost thousands of dollars, this video is for you. I've got a ton of different products to showcase today, starting down at $10 and ranging to about $250. All of these products are things I personally own and still use to this day, so if you want to check them out, affiliate links will be in the description. But without further ado, Let's get into this video. We're gonna be starting off with our stocking stuffer category, which is gonna be small items under $25. The first thing we're gonna be taking a look at is these quarter inch to cold shoe adapters. Not the most exciting item I know, but these things are super handy. Basically, you can take something like a tripod, just spin that on there, and then you can attach things like microphones, lights, or anything else that uses a cold shoe mount. These things are crazy simple. I'm not gonna spend too much time on them, but honestly, I'd be stoked to get a couple for Christmas. I use them for pretty much every video shoot. Next up on our list, we have the JJC SD card case. Now this is a super basic item, also for $10, but super handy. Now this SD card case can hold 12 full-size SD cards and 24 micro SD cards. It is water and shock resistant, and I think it looks pretty cool. More than anything, it's just nice to have a place to put all those small SD cards. When you're done with them, or if you have extras, you'll know exactly where they are, and obviously this is gonna do a great job protecting them. For 10 bucks, if they don't already have one, this would make an awesome gift. Next up, we have the Protocol Camera Lens Coffee Mug. Now, at first glance, this just looks like a Canon 24 to 105 lens, but inside, they're steaming hot coffee. I mean, it doesn't come with coffee. You can put whatever in there, but that's what I use mine for. Honestly, this is just such a fun thing for any photographer or video creator. I got this as a gift when I was in college and I bring it into class with my morning cup of coffee. And it was a great conversation starter. Anyone who's into cameras and likes coffee, tea, or heck, hot chocolate or whatever you wanna drink, would honestly love this. It's just a super fun gift that you can actually use every day. Moving on, we've got the Alonzi PT2 cold shoe extension bracket. All this is is an aluminum bracket that mounts on top of your camera's hot shoe mount and turns it into two cold shoe mounts. Whereas normally you can only mount one thing on top of your camera, like a light or a microphone, with this little bracket, you can attach a light and a microphone or any two items you want and put that on top of your camera. This can just attach to any other hot shoe or cold shoe mount. And it also has a quarter 20 threads, so you could put it on a light stand or a tripod or anything like that. Coming in at $18, we have the Altura Photo Professional Rain Cover. Basically, it's just a nylon and plastic cover that goes over your camera. It's got a zipper on the bottom as well as two, I guess, sleeves where your hands can go in with a Velcro strap and some rubber on the inside that's gonna attach to your camera lens. A few years ago, I actually did break one of my cameras shooting in the rain you always think it won't happen to you that it's just a few drops and it was kind of devastating. I love hiking and shooting in crazy conditions and I always want to take my camera, but I learned my lesson and now I take these anytime I think there might be water or snow and it's honestly awesome. That's going to be it for stocking stuffers. Now let's jump up into the $25 to $50 price range. Coming in at exactly $25, we have the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod. This is a small, lightweight, tabletop kind of vlogging tripod. It's got a ball head with this nice push button design. So you just push it, adjust it, it locks it into place. The only drawback is this is a small tripod rated for about 2.2 pounds, so it can't support bigger cameras. If you shoot on something like a phone or point and shoot camera, you can go from tripod, boom, adjust, now you're vlogging, 
legs out, button, adjust. Now it's standing up. It's so fast and easy. It's really durable. Personally, it can't support my main camera, which weighs about three pounds. So I mostly use it for microphones, lights, things like that. But for $25, super cool little tripod. Okay, this next one's pretty unique. This is the Palouse camera clip. The whole thing is the Palouse camera clip. Basically, instead of using a camera strap, which is gonna flop around and bang into your chest or stomach as you walk, this piece is gonna be mounted right here, and then you take your camera with the plate, slide it in, it's locked into place, it's not going anywhere, and then if you push a button, pops right out. Personally, I hate camera straps. I've never found them practical. I would never walk around with one or take one hiking, but I like this. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk too long about this. Our next item is the Small Rig Mini Tabletop Tripod, and I love this thing, like genuinely love this thing. Since I started YouTube, I've officially used six different vlog tabletop tripods from this weird tentacle thingy to gorilla pods to just the tripod for my gimbal for a little bit. This is without a doubt the undisputed champion. The build quality is top notch, all aluminum with some nice rubber feet to give it some grip. It's got a fantastic ball head that locks very securely. You can even go vertical if you really want to. It's nice and compact, but it's rated for 4.4 pounds. My camera setup, I weighed it earlier, is 3.1 pounds and it holds it just beautifully. And unlike other vlogging tripods, the center of gravity can get super low, so it's not gonna tip over and drop your multi-thousand dollar setup. And the cherry on top is the plate is Arca Swiss. So you can just take your camera off, within three seconds mount it on a full size tripod, and then you can go straight back to this if you want to. If you're a YouTuber or you're shopping for a YouTuber, this is a great gift. This one is really good. Whew, okay, I'll calm down a little bit. Next, SanDisk Extreme Pro 256 gigabyte SD card. SanDisk cards are great, they're super reliable. Over however many years, I've never had an issue with them. And when you have a large card like 256 gigabytes, you can go on like a one week trip, take all the photos you want, all the video you want. Also, if you're going on a shoot and you forgot to dump footage from another time, honestly, there's enough room on here that you don't even have to format the card if you forget. You're totally fine, you can just keep shooting. It just makes life easy. Next up, we've got a classic, the Rode Video Micro. If we take this dead cat off, you can see it's a super small, super light microphone, plugs right into your camera, doesn't take any extra batteries, and you're gonna get better audio quality than any camera's built-in microphone. It's not quite as big or obtrusive as more expensive microphones. It comes with the dead cat, which cuts out pretty much all wind noise if you're filming outside, and it sounds pretty dang good. For reference, this is what my camera's built-in microphone sounds like. And this is what the Rode Video Micro sounds like. Especially if you're just starting out, you can't go wrong with a Rode Video Micro. I still vlog with mine to this day. Next, we're starting to get up there a little bit. Let's hop into the $50 to $100 category. All right, now let's take a look at the Andy Sinnott R1 RGB Pocket Light. This is a small battery powered LED light. It charges via USB-C. It comes with a cold shoe mount, so you can put it on those adapters we mentioned earlier, or you can put it on top of your camera. It also has threads, so you can put it on a tripod or a light stand. Super versatile. You can adjust the brightness settings. You can adjust the color temperature. It's RGB, so you can make it really any color you want. It's also got built-in presets, like lightning flashes or police sirens. There's just so many creative possibilities with an RGB light like this. I used it for the thumbnail of this video. I use it for a lot of B-roll shots. Honestly, anyone who doesn't already have one could definitely appreciate this. Moving on, we've got the TYCKA, what is this thing? The TYCKA 56 inch tripod. Now, full disclosure, I have the older version of this tripod. According to Amazon, I purchased it back in 2018 but that should say something about it because I'm still using it. It's a tripod. Admittedly, they're a lot just like it. 
but I've had a great experience with this one. So if you wanna check it out, again, link will be down below. Okay, I need to warn you with this next one. It is a luxury item, it is expensive, no one needs it, but it's really nice to have. It is the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. Like I said, it is expensive for a mouse, but full transparency, it is the best feeling, most comfortable ergonomic mouse I've ever used. It's got tons of programmable buttons, its own software, it's wireless, it charges via USB-C, it's got a horizontal scroll wheel so you can zip through your timeline. The magnetic scroll wheel, oh, feels so good. Honestly, you probably get like 2% more productivity than a $10 mouse at Walmart. But when you spend thousands of hours at a computer like I do, you really can't appreciate something like this. If I spilled this entire jug of eggnog on it and completely ruined it, I'd probably go out and just buy another one at this up and coming Black Friday. I like it that much. It's a luxury item, but any video editor out there would love you if you got this for them. Uh, but we're moving on to the $100 plus category. And we're starting things off with the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. I have the Gen 1 of this product. Apparently now there's a Gen 2, which is essentially just a better version of this. But I still like mine. For $100 right now, you can get a one terabyte SSD with about a thousand megabyte per second read and write speed. It's gonna make editing off it extremely fast. These things are water resistant and drop resistant, I believe up to two meters. If you travel a lot or like to work in coffee shops, this is the type of drive you wanna be editing off of. It's gonna keep your data safe. And it's just gonna be a joy to work off of. Next, we have probably the most legendary lens ever made. It is the Canon EF 50mm f1.8. Most serious video creators and photographers either own this lens or a more expensive upgraded version, but if they don't, this is the gift. This is what you get them. It's got a super useful focal length of 50 millimeters. The aperture goes down to f1.8, which lets in a ton of light. It's gonna blur out the background, isolate your subject. Pretty much for every camera brand, this is the best performing lens for the money, period. Just make sure you're getting the correct brand and mount for their camera. Do you like how the audio in this video sounds? I hope so, because our next product is the Sennheiser ME2 Omnidirectional Lavalier Microphone. It's this guy. If you're looking for a high quality lav mic, look no further because this is my personal favorite. I've used other lav mics around this price range and cheaper, and most of the time they feel kind of fragile. They'll have foam windscreens that end up tearing or the clip breaks. This one just feels better made in my opinion, and I think it sounds great. Again, I've been recording this entire video on this microphone, so if we switch back to the on-camera mic, this is what the video would sound like if I didn't have a microphone plugged in. Hopefully you can tell the difference. Moving on to a nice entry-level light kit, we have the newer two-pack of the 480 LED panels. Basically, it's these LED panels that you can use to light your videos. Now the kit I got comes with this bag, it comes with two light stands, two of these LED panels, as well as the cables to plug them into the wall. But the nice thing is you can buy batteries for them and you can just use them like wherever. And yes, you probably guessed it. These are the lights I'm actually using to film myself right now. So if you like how this looks, you can get pretty much the same look for about $150. Anyone who doesn't have a ton of space to film or is just looking for a nice entry to intermediate level light kit, it's a great option. Next, we've got another great audio product. Again, it's one of those things. I have the Gen 1, there's now a Gen 2 out. It is the Rode Wireless Go. Basically, it's a wireless transmitter and receiver. It's how you're able to hear me through the lab now. I plug one end of my camera and then I plug a lav mic into this and now I can move around. I can, I don't have a lot of space, but I can go wherever and the audio should sound pretty much the same. Well, unless I'm doing that with my voice. These are incredibly simple to use. They're super small, very user friendly. And one of the cool parts is you can actually use them without a lav mic because there's a microphone built in. So as you can see, my lav mic is no longer plugged in. 
and I can just clip it onto my jacket and this is what it sounds like talking into the Rode Wireless Go itself. Really can't go wrong with it. Okay, so this is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW2. It's a camera backpack. I can't say enough good things about this bag. I really can't. I love this thing. This is one of the only bags on the market I could find that can do everything I want. I can store all the camera gear I need. I can put a tripod on the back. It's got a laptop sleeve. There's like a million of these pouches and accessories is included. I, there's a belt, there's all these dividers. It's just covered in these loops so you can attach carabiners, straps, tripod holders, water bottles, like anything you want on the outside. It's water resistant, but it's also got a rain cover built in that just stretches over the top and fits perfectly. If I wanna take all video gear, I can do that. If I wanna put clothes in half and gear in the bottom, I can do that. This bag deserves its own video, but phenomenal camera bag. Second to last item, we have the Rode VideoMic NTG. This is the mic I use to record all of my Talking Head YouTube videos. You can mount this right on top of your camera. You can boom it up top. You can even plug it in via USB-C and do voiceovers directly into your computer. It is battery powered, but it has an internal battery which charges via USB-C and it's rated for like 30 hours or something. I almost never have to charge it. It automatically turns on when you plug it in, automatically turns off when you unplug it. Check, check, this is what the audio sounds like from the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's just a great sounding mic for the price. Last, but certainly not least, and somehow the most expensive item on this list, we have the Manfrotto 420B Kami Boom Arm with Sandbag. The price is a bit off-putting, I'll admit it, but it's one of those things that if you can afford it, it's gonna make every video you shoot for the foreseeable future just easier and more enjoyable. Basically, it's a light sand with a sandbag that pivots in the middle, so you can either go straight up as a super tall light stand or tripod, or you can extend the arm out and boom a microphone, or I'm using it to hold a camera up. I've used it to get thumbnails for my past videos, I used it to get thumbnails for this video. Basically, it allows you to take any piece of equipment and just position it in space wherever you want, which is super liberating as a creative. I've had this for, I don't know, maybe a year or two. The joints are still holding up strong. and It is so convenient. It's way more than a light stand and it's way lighter than a C stand. Great product. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully this gift guide helped you out. I've never made anything like this. I wish I could spend so much more time on every product, uh, but hopefully this got your, your brain going. It got you some ideas. So if it was helpful, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, or even just a comment as to what your favorite item was. And as always, have fun, stay creative, and I'll see you all in the next one. I forgot how thick eggnog is. 340 calories in a cup, who knew? Next up, it's a durable, I'll give it that. Like the 50 millimeter F1.8 is just legendary, it just is. No one would get this and be like, damn. <laughs>